There we go. You can cook a steak with a flamethrower. Today we're reacting to Nick Dickelani. I, I don't know. Today we'll be testing 100 of the world's craziest food hacks. That first one didn't work. But we have 99 more that I am sure will blow your mind. You can perfectly crack an egg by dropping it into a pan. That actually works. You can hard boil eggs in the microwave. It's in the microwave for six minutes and we're about four minutes in. I guess we wait. Microwave an orange and then stick in the straw to drink the juice. We'll roll it around first, stick in a straw. I don't love hot orange juice, but it seems like this works. You can microwave lemons to get more juice. One will go in the microwave and one won't. Here's our microwave lemon and here's our non microwave. And this one's already dripping. Squeeze. Wow. We'll see. You can get beet juice off your hands using lemon juice. I do hate when I'm cooking beets and soap won't get it off my hands, so I'll rub my hand generously with beets and let's find out if this works. God, it's still hot from the microwave. But I have to say, it's working perfectly. Apparently, there's a proper way to break Toblerone. Most people go like this, but apparently you're supposed to go like this. It's more fun, but it's not more effective. There's a proper way to pour sugar packets into your coffee. Most people tear the top and then pour. Apparently, you're supposed to break it in half. It's way easier. You're supposed to flip these containers upside down to pour. Most of us would go like this, but then it goes up and down with the air bubble. Try instead pouring like this for a nice seamless flow the whole way through. You should reheat a slice of pizza using a glass of water. World's best ingredients. This is leftover day-old pizza. In we go with our glass of water. The crust feels nice and this slice looks great. The water gives the pizza back some much needed moisture. Works like a charm. You can use mayonnaise to sear a steak. We'll lather it up in mayo. Make sure it's nice and fully coated. We have no oil or anything in the pan and in goes our steak. What I'm looking for is a nice crust. And it looks like we've got it. You can cut the perfect cake slice using serving tongs. I'll take my tongs, find the middle of my cake, and make that perfect slice. This one worked perfectly. It's literally the perfect slice. You can also use dental floss to cut a cake. And hopefully floss my teeth more, because I had eight cavities the other day. I'll take a nice long string, wrap it around my fingers, and cut across the whole cake. Then one more cut, and out comes my slice. That works too, but I like these better. You can soften butter using a steamy cup. A hard stick of butter and a steamy cup. We'll set down our butter, then our cup, and we wait. A few minutes later, this happens. It worked. You can use frozen grapes to chill wine without watering it down. Into my glass with some wine. Side note, frozen grapes are the best snack ever. And into our wine with some frozen grapes. That didn't really work, and you're not supposed to cool red wine anyway. Use wet paper towels to immediately chill wine. I'll wrap this baby up nice and cozy, pour on just a little bit of water, and into the freezer we go. Just 15 minutes later, you can see the bottle's nice and frosted. And if I remove the towel, this thing's really cold. You can hyper-cool a drink using salt and ice. Into my bowl with some ice, then cover with some water, and a generous amount of salt. All in the name of science. Then in goes our room temperature drink. Just a few minutes later, this thing is so cold I can hardly even hold it. That's awesome. Use a fork to dip your Oreos so your fingers don't get wet. I'll wiggle in my fork into the filling, fill up my glass with some good old milk, and in we go. While I don't like dipping my Oreos in milk, I must say, this works. Use chopsticks to eat Cheetos to keep your fingers clean. Ooh, they're flaming hot. Why anybody would ever do this, I don't know, but it's great practice for using chopsticks. Store your plastic wrap in the freezer to make it less sticky. This has been in the freezer several days, and there's just one test we should do. If I can get this undone, this works like a charm. Just a little straightening out, and it's back to new. That is a good hack. You can use a water bottle to separate egg yolks. So theoretically, we push out all of the air of a normal water bottle, and then it's time to try to suck the yolk. Oh, wow! You can use eggshell to remove eggshell. Into a bowl, I will drop a few eggs. Gæða bækurnar eru frá drápu. Skemmtilega og skelfilega húsið hennar ömmu. Stóri... I'm not having any luck. You can wet your fingers to remove eggshells. I'll wet my fingers, and in I go. 
It works, but nothing will ever make removing eggshells easy. You can use a bowl of water to tell if eggs have gone bad. Here is a farm fresh egg and an egg that I left outside in the sun for three days. As you can see, the egg from the sun floats and the farm fresh egg sinks. Success. Dr. Pepper is just Coke and root beer combined. I'm a sucker for Dr. Pepper. Into my glass. I'll fill my glass about halfway up with this Coca-Cola and the other half will be some classic root beer. Dr. Pepper is definitely darker. You can roast garlic in the microwave. I'll slice off the head of my garlic, drop it in a bowl, hit it with just a little bit of oil, tiny bit of seasoning, then in we go for eight minutes. While that's going, you can peel garlic by shaking it in a glass. First, we'll lightly crush down our big head of garlic, drop it into our glass, and then just shake. This is a lifesaver in the kitchen. Whoa! It worked! Roasted garlic in the microwave! You can disguise the end pieces of bread when making a sandwich. This is one of those ones that I am never gonna believe, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna make my favorite sandwich from when I was a kid for this one. The theory here is that if we rub the sandwich on the end sides with our fillings, such as peanut butter and fluff in my case, you can ultimately create a sandwich where nobody actually knows that they're eating the end pieces. You tell me, Manny, would that fool you? Mm hmm? Oh, would it actually? No. Why the f did you say oh. yes? <laughs> You've been using cold cuts the wrong way the whole time. So they say that if you take out your round pieces of cold cuts, you're supposed to slice a few in half, then take your sandwich bread, place it this way, then this way, and you can follow it with another layer if you want. Boop. I happen to think that looks even worse. As we drive to our first off-site food hack location, let me remind you we are rapidly catching up to Gordon Ramsay. So if you aren't subscribed and part of the food fam, go smack that subscribe button below. We are out in front of Starbucks where we are testing whether or not putting salt in espresso makes it less bitter. Our Himalayan pink Osmo has not dropped yet, but I'll use a pinch of this into one of our espresso shots, just a few grains, give it a nice swirl. Then once Manny has shifted them around so there's no placebo effect, I'll taste. It works, but don't put too much because then it's salty. Is a foot long really foot long? All right, Manny just picked this up inside Subway for me. Manny, you're confirming this is a foot long? Mm -hmm. Right off the bat, it does look bigger than I feel like it actually will be when I go and measure it. Oh, oh. here we've got our foot long. <laughs> it's a foot! It's a foot! This thing is exactly one foot. McDonald's has a couple great food hacks that I'm confident will blow your mind. Apparently, if you order McDonald's fries without salt, they're fresher. Thank you for choosing McDonald's. Can I take your order, please? Yes, could I have one order of regular large fries? One order of fries without any salt? And then could I just do one large ice water with a straw? Large ice water with? A straw. What is that? Just like a, a straw. A straw to, to drink out of? Yes. We have here fries with salt and fries without salt. The bag with the fries without salt is burning my hand. I can already tell this hack works. Take a few at once and see how hot it is. Oh, hot. Of every hack we've done today, this is already by far my favorite. So hot, I can't even hold them. Bring along your jar of Osmo and you're set. We've been opening ketchup packets the wrong way. Most people open like this, then pour it on a random surface and dip. If you tear across the top, it's perfect for dipping. Given I've never known where to dump my ketchup, I love this hack. Now that we're home, let's keep hacking. You can make a slushy with a Coca-Cola bottle. I'm gonna place this in the freezer for three hours and 15 minutes. Once it's finished, it looks quite similar. But if you flip it and whack it, then relieve the pressure, the whole thing turns to slush. That is Coca-Cola slush. That was super easy, and I also think it's gonna taste amazing. Really You've been drinking bottled Starbucks fraps wrong all this time. I'll pop this in the freezer for a few hours. Still looks normal. Okay, Every hack we've done today, this is already by far my favorite. So hot, I can't even hold them. Bring along your jar of Osmo and you're set. We've been opening ketchup packets the wrong way. Most people open like this, then pour it on a random surface and dip. If you tear across the top, it's perfect for dipping. Given I've never known where to dump my ketchup, I love this hack. Now that we're home, let's keep hacking. You can make a slushy with a Coca-Cola bottle. I'm gonna place this in the freezer for three hours and 15 minutes. Once it's finished, it looks quite similar. But if you flip it and whack it, then relieve the pressure, the whole thing turns to slush. That is Coca-Cola slush. That was super easy, and I also think it's gonna taste amazing.